Adrienne. I am 35 years old. I have a heart child. She has a rare heart condition called Trancus Arteriosus. We found out when she was in my tummy that she had a heart condition and one finger missing on her right hand um, and a whole lot of other things. So why, why am I doing this or what is all this about? So we'll start with the, the name Healing a Broken Heart. So I decided to call this Healing a Broken Heart because um, this all became about and um, is still happening because of my daughter's broken heart. So she has trunkus arteriosus, which um, is quite rare. And when I looked it up when I was pregnant, I couldn't find a lot on it. Um, and to be fair, um, you don't always believe what's on the internet. So try not to do that. Um, I couldn't find any parents um, and I didn't talk to any heart parents until she, until, yeah, I was in Starship um, and after she was born, I met one. And so her heart, so a normal heart has two arteries that go from it. Um, she only had one and it was quite thick. Um, so they didn't actually split, uh, split and it's called, that's why it's sort of called truncus or trunk, um, because it's quite thick. And she also had a big hole in between, um, her chambers, which was a good thing, which meant, um, the blood could actually get oxygenate, that word, get oxygen in the blood, um, stream because it had that hole so to repair it they had to put a pit uh, it was a six hour surgery and they had to put a patch over her the hole they had to move her um, artery to put it in the right place and had to insert an artificial conduit um, she ended up with a human one which is good um, but it will only last so long um, the bigger she gets or if something else may happen that may cause it to um, not last that long she will need her next surgery so she it will never be fixed her heart it will always be there so um, yeah it's just an ongoing thing but she is awesome you wouldn't even know um, but everything that has happened along the way um, pretty huge um, not just for us and for her um, for people around us um, yeah so healing a broken heart so healing her heart um, healing my heart um, is what it's about and people that want to help us to heal and I what I mean by us is not just me um, and Eva, it's um, the organisation that I'm now volunteering for, which is Heart Kids. So, healing a broken heart. And so this project, what it is, is I am making 400 plus cards for Heart Kids Hawke's Bay. So Hawke's Bay... It goes from Gisborne to Danivuk, uh, in between Danivuk and Waipak. And it supports approximately 200 families that have children that are either born with a congenital heart defect or have acquired one um, during childhood due to illness. Um, so what... I'm on the committee and I am the secretary and it's been brought up so many times that about um, having cards to give our families for birthdays and Christmases and things like that. Um, 
which is cool and I really want to do it and what um, I was thinking about doing was getting a group together and making cards for these families and everything like that however I actually do not have the time I do not have the time to do it it's um, I say yes to a lot of things because I do want to help and I and I want to be able to do everything and I want to do this but it is a huge project so how I got to the number 400 was there's approximately 200 families so if I just take into consideration Christmas cards it's 200 if I just take into consideration birthdays that's 200 then we need some thank you cards and whatever else and that's just a year so it's going to be an ongoing project it's going to you know it's never going to stop so what I decided to do was we had another we had a meeting on Friday it's now Sunday so two days is I decided over the weekend why well, I'm just going to start it if I don't start it will never happen um, so I have decided to try and tackle five cards a week and pop up a video and the reason I'm videoing it is in the hopes that maybe someone sees this and they decide at some point they might want to help out so if you're in Hawke's Bay get in touch and we can either get together and have sessions and make these cards or you if you're around the country you could um, make some cards and either send them to us or get in contact with your local um, Heart Kids or any other charity for that matter um, to see if they would like to do it um, would like any cards or anything now why cards why make them why not buy them why not just the, the you know why do you even need a card well I was diagnosed with post-traumatic stress disorder last year um, after we had to go back to Starship for my daughter's hip surgery it must have been last year it was a year before I can't remember she's two and a half now so I think it was yeah not last during the June before yes yeah, yes that's right so the reason um, that happened was I started to get nauseous all the time and actually I was physically ill um, and vomiting and everything so obviously having to go back and relive what had happened from um, probably the day that, I, that she was diagnosed when I was pregnant it probably the stress started then so um, having to go back and sort of deal with things that I guess we hadn't dealt with um, got on top of me so sort of from there things have eventually things have happened and you know um, I'm good now and I'm in a place to be able to help others I'm in a place that I'm happy I'm in a you know we all are so I decided to do I, I'm doing volunteering for Heart Kids in Hawke's Bay for a few different reasons. The first one is um, I want it to be around for when Eva is old enough that if she does need it, it is there for her. So she's going to have probably a few challenges throughout her life. And um, like as you know, someone in a similar situation to you. Um, um, is easier to talk to and if they're in a similar situation they may have be better equipped to give you some ideas to help you through um, whatever you need to go through rather than someone that's you know never done it so that's my first reason um, my second reason is um, it feels good to help someone else to be able to share knowledge um, to make someone's out life a little bit easier it feels good it makes me happy you know if we've I don't know whether I need to or that it just is what it is but I feel that we've been chosen the special little girl 
I'm taking us on this huge roller coaster for a reason. I don't know what that is, but if it's to help people um, through their journey, then that's what I'll do, you know. So those are the reasons um, I'm volunteering for Heart Kids. Now, why can't? Okay, so what I started to do with, when I be back to work, I um, might have been before that, I'm not quite sure when it happened, but I started getting into digital design and so being creative on my phone um, and tablet and yeah, so it sort of like was videos and um, imagery and so whenever I wasn't working or had my mind on on doing something, I was on my phone doing this. And I loved it. It was fun. It was good. Um, and then I read something and I realised why I was doing it. It was because the creating was doing something in my brain and it was sort of helping me relieve that anxiety that um, was always there in the back of my head. But I got to the point where working full time, not actually dealing with what had happened and having um, a child with this condition that I'd hardly ever, I'd only held her for three months of her life. Um, um, without being attached to wires or anything like that, um, you know, medical equipment, or being um, in a body cast from ankles to nipples. So I'd only held it for about three months, and then I was working full time. So I hadn't, I hadn't processed or done anything. So I needed to stop and slow down and look after me. So then I started getting more off. The phone and into physical, um, physically creating different things, and you know, and I did, and I felt really good. And then I found out why it's because it is actually proven to be good for your brain. Um, there is art therapy, I've probably heard this before, I just haven't really taken any note until it actually um, sort of applied to me. And yeah, and I found out um, art therapy is done, you know, it's a proven thing um, that it's beneficial for patients, um, you know, with things like PTSD. And um, one of the things I read, post-traumatic stress disorder was at the top of the list and then a few things down was anxiety, which is you know, that goes hand in hand with what I've got. So creating and making cards is actually really good for me. So that's why I decided to make the cards. And it's a lot cheaper to actually make them than it is to buy them. And you don't have to be really fancy with cards. But the, you know, just the process and the thought of actually creating it is... It's so good for me, so why not do it? But realistically, 400 cards, volunteering Hawke's Bay, Harker's Hawke's Bay. Now I'm looking after children, um, which I love, um, part-time, my daughter. Um, and then doing my own little projects, early crafty projects. Um, and having time for me and my husband and my family. It's just, it's too much. So I'm just going to do what I can do. Set myself a little goal and do that. The other benefit of making cards is that it's actually medically proven too and healthy for the person receiving the card. Um, they, yeah, it's beneficial for their health as well to get a handmade card so it's a win all round so 
that was my thought and theory behind doing this. And to do it publicly, um, yeah, as I said, it's maybe someone will be able to help me. Instead of spending my time running around, ringing people, seeing and asking for things. I hate asking for things. I will just start doing it, let people know what I'm doing. And if anybody wants to help in any way, that will be awesome. If no one does, that's fine too. But if I don't start, I will never get done. But yeah, so I've made this video. I've already done my first lot, which will pop up this week. And I had a lot of fun doing it. Um, yeah, get your brain thinking, getting colours to match, um, trying different things. The other cool thing I like about cards is it gives me a little mini project to test different products and things for bigger projects that I want to do um, without wasting too much product. So that's another cool thing about doing, being able to do this as well. And yeah, so this week is actually Harkhead's annual appeal week. So if you're out and about and you see people with red shirts and hearts on them, they are Harkhead's volunteers um, raising money for Harkhead's New Zealand or well, probably, well for their local branch. Um, so yeah, if you've got a few coins, that would be awesome if you could put them in. Um, or if you only donate once a month, to a charity and you've already done that then maybe next month you could consider donating to Heart Kids. Um, yeah if you want to know any information about Heart Kids um, you can go onto their website which I will link down below um, but yeah if you want to get involved in helping out with your local Heart Kids branch just have a look on that website for the local contact person but yeah if you have any questions for me or what I'm doing, um, yeah, just sing out. Okay, so thank you for watching and yeah, I'll look forward to talking to some of you. Okay, see you later.